Hey y'all, I'm Rick Sky here, and I want to talk about the new Sony A7R3. That's right, the latest and greatest Sony A7R. Uh, now, is there a big difference between it and the A7R2 that I'm filming this particular video with? And is it something that someone should upgrade to? And if so, why should they consider upgrading from the A7R2 to the A7R3? So, just looking at the camera at a high, excuse me, at a high level. There are some obvious improvements. One of, the, one of the major improvements, in my opinion, is the battery life. Now, if you're an A7R2 owner already, you've probably got a lot of NPFW50 batteries. So that could actually be a disadvantage. You know, if you're going to a new camera body, then you've got to buy all new, um, all new batteries. But on paper, the Sony A7R3, I think it's, I think it's a little bit over double the battery life of the, R, of the A7R2. So that's quite impressive, especially if you're using it for videos um, and a lot of photos in the field. You probably found that you go through quite a bit of batteries in a short period of time with the A7R2. So enhanced battery life is definitely, definitely an advantage. But again, it's also a disadvantage because if you're like me, you've got a ton of A7R2 batteries and you don't necessarily want to have to get a new camera body and start over with a new type of battery. So if you don't already have an A7R2, from that perspective, the A7R3 could be definitely a uh, you know huge improvement. So it may be something you would want to consider over the A7R2. Uh, some other things that the A7R3 has: it has dual SD card slot. That's good if you you know if you want to have. I mean, SD cards fail at times, so you know having that dual slot, uh, being able to create a backup of everything you're photographing and/or filming, or uh, or just have an extra card in there for. For more space so that's a convenience it uses USB-C as in Charlie so a new uh, type of connection to the uh, to the camera not that that's a huge deal I mean you know my MacBook Pro has USB-C but for my MacBook Pro with my A7R2 I got a, uh, a cable that will go from my A7R2 to the USB-C on my MacBook Pro so you know that's not a big deal um, you know that being said uh, the sensor on the camera, at least looking at it on paper, seems to be pretty much identical. You're not getting more megapixels. The biggest deal breaker for me with the A7R3 is the absence of 4K 60 frames per second. Like the A7R2, it still tops out at 4K 30. Now I'm filming this in 4K 30 with the A7R2 and it looks great. You know, nothing wrong with 4K 30, but when you've got competitors in the, in the market, uh, Panasonic Lumix, uh, the GH5 that'll do 4K 60. Why didn't uh, Why didn't Sony bring 4K 60 to the A7R3? Actually, blows my mind, and that's the reason that I'm not upgrading to the A7R3 is there's no 4K 60. So I remain optimistic that hopefully we'll see 4K 60 in the uh, in the A7S3. And if it doesn't appear in the A7S3, is there going to be an A9R that'll bring 4K 60 frames per second video to the playing field? So that's, you know, I'm not, I'm not disappointed with the A7R3, but already owning an A7R2, it's hard for me, for my needs, to upgrade to an A7R3. Sure, I get greater battery life, but I'd have to toss the batteries that I'm using for A7R2 because they won't be compatible. Um, you know, they say that the, that the image quality and the HDR, et cetera, with the uh, A7R3 is slightly better. I think they say that the EVF is probably better. But, I mean, I, I just don't know. I can't, oh, there's a huge hawk that just flew over. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is super cool. That thing's huge. Or she had another camera. Well, and see, there's a use case right there. You know, maybe I need a, maybe I need an A7R3 with a, with the zoom lens capture wildlife and you know keep my A7R2 for uh, for face on video segments like this. Who knows? You know, multicam is always a good thing. But I don't know. I'm just I'm personally again already being an A7R2 owner and a very happy A7R2 owner for that matter. I'm personally not convinced that I need the A7R3. But again, if you don't already have an A7R2. I would probably go with the A7R3 just for the better battery life, you know, the slightly newer technology. 
and that sort of thing. So check the link within this video's description. You'll be able to find the A7R3 there. Uh, one thing I failed to mention, and if you're if you're familiar with the Sony A7R series, you probably know that the A7R2 and the A7R3 are both full frame cameras. So, you know, that's the beauty of of the A7R3, you know, still using the Sony E mount and use my full frame lenses lenses that I already own. If I did get an A7R3 in the future, they'll they'll be compatible with it so I don't have to rebuy all the glass. It's the glass that gets super expensive, like the lens that I'm using for this video, 85mm prime lens. I mean that stuff's expensive. And you can find it within this video's description too. I'll link to the uh, to the lens and obviously the camera body that I'm using to film this video, the A7R2. You can find it and the microphone. Put it all there within this video's description. I'm very happy. I've been very happy uh, for a long period of time uh, with the A7R2. And it's, you know, for me, going around the block with cameras, trying to become more proficient rather with both photography and videography skills. You know, the A7R2 put me on the right path, and it's, it's been a rock-solid camera. So without having had my hands on the A7R3, I feel confident that the A7R3 should carry on that tradition. So, you know, it's a lot of people are like, man, I got to go Canon, I got to go Nikon, you know, I got to go, uh, you know, one of those ways. But, you know, mirrorless just isn't it. I think mirrorless is the future. And if you ever use these cameras, in low light conditions, you use them on, uh, and uh, you know, for video purposes, for photography purposes. I mean, they're excellent. They're rock solid. I mean, to be able to get this performance in such a very small form factor is is mind blowing. So, you know, for that reason, I, you know, I love Sony, but I personally don't have the need or the itch to upgrade to an A7R3 just because there's not enough new there for me. And again, I'm not bashing the A7R3. I'm saying it should be a great camera. I haven't had my hands on it. But looking at the specs, it should be a great camera. But again, for someone that already owns the A7R2, unless they need a secondary camera, I just I couldn't really see the need to switch. Now, somebody that's shooting, uh, you know, maybe you're shooting the A9 and you need a B camera. If you had the A9, the you know, the A7R3 could be a, an awesome B camera. You know, a little bit less expensive than the A9. The A9 gets w really, really way up there in price. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it looks cool. But, again, the, the deal breaker for me was the fact that it didn't do 4K60. If it had done 4K60, I probably would have put this camera up for sale and I would have jumped on board the A7R3. But since I'm not getting 4K60, and I'm not getting any huge improvements, except for the inconvenience of having to rebuy batteries to take advantage of that enhanced battery life. I mean, I've got a backpack full of A7R2 batteries right now, so you know, I don't, uh, I don't have any concerns. I'm out in the field. Yeah, I'll run through quite a few batteries. Go back to the studio. I recharge them. No big deal. And I even recharge them on the go in a vehicle or with a battery bank because of the little USB cable that I use to charge my Sony A7R2. So that's, this is, I mean, these are my candid thoughts. And again, if you're not a big video person, you may find that the A7R3 with that, what is it, 10 frames per second for photography, you may find that to be really cool. You know, that may be something that you really crave and it makes you jump on board with the A7R3. But for me, again, with my primary focus being video, here on Irish Guys Adventure Channel, youtube.com forward slash Guy. If I'm not going to get a huge performance increase of video, and keep in mind, I film in manual mode. This lens that I'm using right now is an autofocus lens, but before I filmed this face on video segment, I flipped it to manual mode. You know, the, the autofocus performance of the A7R2, in my opinion, and according to many, is not perfect. But if you want to get near perfect results, you probably need to use manual focus anyway. I did hear that the A7R3 the autofocus performance is supposed to be increased. So if you've seen some of my earlier A7R2 videos before I learned manual focus and, and uh, you know, customize the buttons on my camera, so my AF, some autofocus lenses, I can switch them over to, uh, to manual focus mode. You may have noticed that some of my first videos, they were, they were kind of wonky. They would kind of, it's called focus breathing. It would kind of look like that, like it was throbbing. And uh, 
but by using manual focus, I mean this video that you're watching right now, the focus should be somewhat perfect. You should see a blurred background because I'm shooting a, with an f1.8 aperture. And again, I'm using manual focus. So really cool stuff. I'm excited to see what Sony releases next. What excites me the most right now is the, I'm hoping that with the A7S III that they bring 4K60, because the S and the R, the S has always been more the video person's camera. So, you know, maybe that's what they're holding out for. I'm kind of hoping they don't do an A9R because I'm sure it'll be turbo expensive. And if that's the only way to get 4K60, you know, that'll take, uh, you know, again, Irish Guys Adventure Channel being a independent channel, it'll take me a while to get to the point to where I upgrade the camera to a 4K60 camera if that's how they do it. But again, check the link within this video's description. You can find the A7S III as well as links to the uh, to the equipment that I'm using to film this video, the microphone, the 85mm lens, and the A7R2 camera body. So thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash iRicksGuy. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, iRicksGuy here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.